All right, everybody, I want you to look at this. Here, see that? Yep, what color is it? White. White. Yeah. Oh! Wait, what is it? Rainbow colors. Rainbow Why did it look white? I wonder what that looks like on the camera. Actually, it was black and white. Black and white. Yeah, it's kind of a grayish color, but they all kind of mix together to give you that it's kind of seamless. And we stop. Oh, oh, oh! It's a ring. It's a ring, Mimki. And so this is just another, another way to look at rainbows. So uh, the whole spectrum: red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, all together makes a rainbow. White. And we mix them up. I'm going to pass these around. Uh, everybody needs some of these. Oh. Here, pass them back. Can I have like seven of them? What? Can I have more than one? You? Yeah. You, need, you can wear one and you can uh, have one for the camera. Hey, hey camera. It's a rainbow! Let's look at it. Keep passing them back to everybody. No, you don't have one now. But are there are enough out there, everybody. Can He's get so one sexy. Now. Buy it back. Bear, 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 bear. Yeah, so there we go. Everybody got one now? We all good to go? <coughs> we're going to do something oh, kind of uh, what I think is really interesting today. And today we're not going to get that far into why or how it works. Today we're just going to kind of see it. And over the next few days we're going to learn why it works this way. To me it's one of the cool, we're actually on the cusp of doing some of what I think is some of the coolest, shaking that thing a lot. All the coolest stuff about chemistry. There's some kind of mind-bending stuff we'll get into. We're going to do a little bit of it today, but mostly today is just going to be kind of seeing some cool stuff. Remember the salts that I put in the bowls and I made fire? Remember that? And there are three different colors of the fire. Okay? That We're going to do the same thing today, but we're not going to do it the same way. We're going to not turn things, not light things on fire, but instead we're going to put a voltage across them in a tube. And I have a special uh, little compartment here, a little device that we can put the voltage across with. Uh, a lamp? I don't know. I don't know. I really thought about what it's called. There's probably a name for it. Wow, that's an excellent question. One that we as educators must be ready to address. That's what they say if you're an educator and you don't know the answer. Well. That's a great question. All one right. we need to be ready to address. So here's what we're going to do, all right? Mm -hmm. Sorry. I have a gas in here. I have a gas. gas in here. It's trapped inside here. It's a glass tube. There is an, uh, there's a little metal end on each part, a little electrode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it inside this thing, and then I'm going to put a voltage across it. And we're going to see what happens. But you got to play the game right. You got to play uh, according to the rules. The rules are this: first, you must look at it with your regular eyes, not through the glasses. And then, when and only when I say, then you can put the glasses on. Mm -hmm. So, I turn off the lights. Do your best not to accidentally start making out with someone while I turn off the light, okay? That's something I do not want you to do. Be clear on our rules in here. No making out with well, the lights. Crap. All right, so everybody watching? Everybody watching, here we go. We're gonna turn on no glasses. Whoa, it's a... Uh, Black light. I call it pink in uh, honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, right? Pink? Yes, sir. Exactly, so did I say what element was in there? No, no. sir. That element, Interestingly enough, that element is, uh, that color that you're seeing right now is the most common color in the universe. There is no color that shows up in the universe more often than this color. Because this color is made by, I haven't told you yet, what's in there? Hydrogen. Hydrogen gas is in there. Hydrogen is the most common element in the universe because it's what what what's made of hydrogen. Water. There's not a whole lot of water in the universe, you know, because you were here for third hour. You can't guess. Who else? Just, nope. Just about every monster. All right, tell them, George. Stars. Stars. Stars are the most common object in the universe. There's more stars in the universe than anything else. Stars. And they're made mostly of Fire. hydrogen. Fire, yes, but it's a it's a, it's a hydrogen. It's a fusion. And so, this, put on your glasses now. Oh man, oh, 
<coughs> You'll see that that color is Holy crap! In fact, there's no pink in it, is there? No. There is. Yeah. Can you tell Jordan whether it's coming through on the video? Uh, sort of. It looks awesomer in this. So, <laughs> let's look. You'll notice that we have above, below, to the right, and to the left, we have uh, spectrum. Now, you'll see an entire rainbow, sort of, because we have light coming in off of the windows. And that light, that white light, is reflecting very dimly off of the glass. And so we see that kind of spread into a rainbow. But the actual pink color is coming from three distinct wavelengths. Can you Mind say the what way. colors those are? Purple, blue, and red. Purple, blue, and red is what people would normally call that. I would call it, uh, I would call it violet. Violet. Teal and red. Is that, that's that's what we tend to call them. Yeah, I see a little bit of yellow. There's <laughs> three distinct colors that get made by hydrogen. And not only that, if I put a different element in there, oh my, I'm going to turn on the lights. I don't, I've got to turn on the lights to see, can't see these in the dark. i got to find a different, I have like six or seven of these we're going to do. It's going to be a long video. Feel free to fast forward between me uh, me finding the different kinds of tubes if you're watching this on camera on the video. All right, here we go. This is the second most common element in the universe. Anyone know what it is? Boron. No. No. Nope, 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 nope. It is helium and it gives off a peach color. I thought helium was rare. On Earth it is. However, in the universe it's not rare. It's very abundant. So all we gotta do is go to a star and pull all the back there if we want to fill our balloons. Okay. That is helium. Now put on the glasses and you will see that when you Woo, holy there. crap. Red, yellow, it's like a lot more space. Yeah. I can't. Now, even if you are, I know sometimes people come through here colorblind. Even if you can't see the colors, you can sort of, if you know the order of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and to go violet, even if you can't see what the color looks like, you know which color it is by where it shows up. If you look to the left, you know, you have a spectrum on the left and a spectrum on the right. Uh, the left one, it's going to spell out a rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and go violet. So if something is, you know, very far to the right, you know, it's going to tend towards blue or violet. If it's very far to the left, it's going to be red or orange. And so we can see a lot of different, what I'd call, lines here from the helium. And so that, by the way, how do we know that stars are made up of hydrogen and helium? We've never been there. The gases they burn? No, I know. Oh, well, if this is what helium looks like when it's excited here, do you suppose it also looks like that when it's excited on a star? Yeah. So you can take a, a star's light and put it through a spectroscope and see what comes out, see whether you get those particular... It's like a fingerprint. Each element, each kind of atom has a fingerprint of this color, this color, this color that it gives off when it's excited. So that's oh. helium. <clears throat> like I said, I have several more of these. Let's look at the next one. It's darker in here than it was this morning. I think this morning I was able to tell which one was which without having to turn the lights yeah, on. Yeah, you was, because you had that window. <laughs> Here's one that, this one, uh, I'll warn you, I can't leave this yeah. one on for terribly long because uh, it's old and so the, the electrodes have kind of, you know, bent up a little bit and it doesn't, fill the gap completely and so it arcs a little bit and when it arcs it gives off a little bit of an unpleasant smell and a little bit of a you might see a little bit of a of a gas given off like a smoke it's not terribly dangerous if we don't run it too long to let it get too hot but that's but for that reason i'll have to turn it off after a couple of minutes but this is mercury this is a mercury tube and that gives you that nice pretty blue color now this color should look familiar because if you live uh, in the country, you have a pole light. Your pole light, if you look at them, they all kind of look the same, but if you, after this conversation, you will begin to notice that when you drive out the country, you see pole lights, they will either look like this, a faint blue like that, or, and I don't have any, a peach, yeah, like a reddish, orangish color, right? You ever know, some are blue, some are red, if you want to simplify it. And the blue ones are mercury lamps, and the reddish oranges ones are sodium lamps. So you can actually tell, uh, you know, how do we know that star is made of sodium? Well, how do you know that lamp's made of sodium? Well, you just look at the color, you can tell. We know a whole lot about what goes on in outer space based on, oh, I didn't say, I didn't say what were the uh, colors that we saw when we broke it up here. 
What are you seeing through there? Purple, or violet, orange. Uh, green, orange, green, yellow. Yeah, a whole lot of on blue and green and red. little orange and a lot of violet. Yeah. On this, you can just see like mainly the green and the blue. Oh yeah. Or the purple. It looks blue. I'll be interested to see what those look like through the camera. They look really, really sweet. So that is Mercury. Got a couple more here. Um, several more. Let's do Argon. Are you Argon? Yes, I am. Am I excited about Argon? Argon. It smells like crap. Without the glasses, it is purple. Or in English, purple. I just said it in Germany. It's really light. And if you put on the glasses, you'll say, oh, it's not really everything. Really, mostly still purple. <coughs> Blue. In fact, the purple is so dim that. Yeah, I see everything. A little bit like the last one. You don't see everything. There's no yellow in there. No, there's a bunch of blue. You can see. You can see violet really well. Violet. You're turning violet. Violet. This is actually, oh you did you? I didn't hear you. Argon, that was what that is, that was Argon. Just a couple more here. Um, this okay. one is, the one I want to do next is one of my favorites. Oh yeah, you like this one. Calcium? No, it's not. This one is not uranium-235 either, trust me. <laughs> not plutonium-239 either. Oh! Woo! That's my favorite color. You like that one? Yes. My Darth favorite Vader. color is living color. Red, orange, yellow, green. Is that what you see? Whoa. You now this one is interesting because if Instead of a little straight tube like this, we had a really long tube that we bent up and made all sorts of fancy shapes and letters out of it. We would call this kind of light a neon, neon light. That's right. However, none of these are actually neon lights, except this one. This one, this one is a neon light. How do you know if a neon light is a neon light or not? It's this color, this particular color, that red-orange color there. That is a neon light. Any other kind of light, while you would call it a neon light, because that's what we call that style of light, it is not actually a neon light unless it is this color. This is a neon light. You can do that red, what do you get? red, orange, yellow, green. Is that what you, you, got, you got everything. It's like extremely bright. Not a whole lot of blue, not a whole lot of violet. There's not a line of blue. Yes. What's an LED light? What? Yes. What's an LED light? An LED Mercury. light works on a completely different, uh, a completely different uh, mechanism. It's com very, very different how it works. I don't have time to get into how it works right now. It has to do with uh, uh, voltage through a solid semiconductors. There's a lot going on there that we don't have time to get into. So this is actually one of the most boring ones because almost all of the light that's giving off here is nothing. Not nothing. Nothing's not the right answer. Are you UV? UV. You're awful smart for someone that hasn't had this class yet today. Good yeah, this is actually very bright. It doesn't look bright because most of the light that's given off is in the UV range that you cannot see. So that is UV. Yeah, it's turn on. I don't know what this one is. It's not labeled as anything other than UV. Uh, it might, there might be, it might be carbon dioxide. I need to check if carbon dioxide emits in the UV because, um, because one of my cardboard containers says CO2 on it, but the tube itself isn't labeled. I basically found these whenever I moved in here and started teaching here. So I don't, uh, I only know the ones that are labeled. One of them, says oxygen, one of them says UV. So this is the last one that we're going to do. This is actually, uh, this one's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. okay, it's pretty cool, all right? Mm -hmm. Where is it? You getting a sex change? I don't know if that's an appropriate question. Oh, that's neon. That is, oh, there we go. This is what I like. Tell me what you like. This. Without the glasses. Without the glasses. Tell me what you predict to see when you put the glasses on. Hey! Stop cheating. Without the glasses. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
What are you going to see when you put the glasses on? When you do, what are you going to see? Which one? You're going to see all of them, aren't you? Try it. Try it. You'll like it. Woo! It's a red moon! Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, indigo, I guess it, whatever indigo is in there too. A little bit. That, my friends, if you want to know what element that is, it isn't one. It's actually not labeled. I believe that this is a mixture of things chosen to emit in every visible wavelength so that you get a rainbow so you can get a nice white color out of it. So that is, uh, so that's just a little bit. Every element and every molecule has this distinct color, this set of colors that it gives off, which together look like this, but when you put on those glasses, when you separate them into their components, you can see the different colors. And each little set of distinct colors is like a fingerprint. And you can identify that molecule or that atom. And so um, if you knew more about this, you, you know, right now I could actually take some of these out and I could actually um, have you tell me what is inside of some of these things, if you remembered. You remember what that is? That's helium. That's right. You knew that was helium. I didn't tell you that was helium just now. You knew it was helium because of the color. And so a lot of times if you ever talk about astronomers, how do they know that's that? How do they know that's that? Well, that's how. They're looking at, at, the, at the colors that are given off by that thing out in space. And so you can actually use this to identify things and you can probably tell me what that is. What? That's been... That's the hydrogen, that's right. Okay? Alright. Go ahead and shut that down.